Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. I've been documenting my recovery from GBS, um, Guillain or Guillain-Barre syndrome. Last time I covered the exercises that I was doing during the acute stage, so the first four weeks. Now I'm going to be covering the exercises that I was doing with the rehab doctors and the physiotherapists in both the hospital and once I also got transferred to the intense rehab clinic. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. Being semi-paralyzed, it was very important for me to do some form of cardio so that I was able to get my heart pumping. It would also serve as a bit of a warm-up and since I could not use my legs, this was my form of cardio before the sessions. Seated calf raises. So my uh, lower body was so weak that I actually could not stand up without any assistance and there was no chance of me being able to do any standing calf raises. So seated calf raises was the way to go for me. As I got a little bit better, we started to change things up a little bit. A very small amount of weight was added and um, you also have to make sure that you are changing between your legs. I did change from my right to my left leg whenever I was doing any isolated exercises. The sit to stands were one of the toughest exercises that I had to do and um, I don't think I did them at all properly during my time in the hospital and most of my time at the intensive rehab clinic. Um, assistance is very important and I was really relying on my upper body strength to try and get me there. So it was impossible for me to do it without some kind of momentum or help. As you can see here, I was using so much momentum that I had to have a weight placed on my feet to keep me from um, moving out of position. The leg adductors and abductors. So here I had to really work on my form and keeping um, the right muscles engaged. Therefore a pen was placed at the bottom of my foot which I had to keep stable and pointing upright in order for me to um, focus and use the correct muscle groups rather than relying on everything else. The step ups was another exercise that I was able to do. I really relied on my upper body strength here though to keep me stable and upright as well as assisting me with my movements. As you can see I was always alternating between legs, I made sure that was very important when I was isolating my, um, my muscles. I was also making sure that I was going for about maybe two or three walks every day and this would vary between the uh, two wheel frame and the forearm frame for me um, whether you're using a four wheel frame two wheel frame whatever it is even a, a walking stick I really suggest that you do this every day multiple times as it's probably going to be one of the most effective ways to build balance and um, engagement of your muscles back Now the only exercises that I don't have footage of were the exercises on the tilt table which allowed me to do some squats and some standing calf raises. Now the next section of this video focuses on the intense rehab clinic. So here is when I was transferred and um, they did do exercises that again continue to strengthen the muscles and to help with functionality but they also had a lot more um, focus on balancing. Here you're going to see me doing some assisted step ups again. As I got better the step up became larger so I would have to lift my foot even higher. The exercise you see here are toe raises, so I would have to keep my heels on the floor, I'd be sitting down and I'd have to try and raise my toes as high as I could. This exercise here is um, compass stepping, so you would have to try and have minimal assistance. So I was allowed to place my hands on the bench, I would only try to put fingers when I was about to fall. And the objective was to take a step forward, back and side to side and um, as you can see here I was just trying to have a little bit of fun um, extremely difficult for me to keep my balance mm -hmm. 
In this exercise, the objective was to stand and try and move a peg from a cone to a different cone and then we would swap arms. Here the balance was really tested um, as well as the muscles that just kept you up. I found this exercise to be really really tough. In this exercise we were side to side stepping with minimal assistance as you can see sometimes I use my fingers on the bench just to help me keep my balance. Here you have the tandem stance, um, it really tested your balance and by the end of this I would feel the front of my shins be burning. Again I would try to use minimal assistance and swap feet with which one you had in front of the other, make sure you reverse that later on. Here you see me doing some squats with not much depth because if I was to go any further than that one quarter there I would just fall straight to that bench there so whatever depth you can come back from is the depth that you should be doing working your way down eventually to if you can a full squat And there you have it, so those were the exercises or at least some of them that I was doing for rehab with the physios and at the intense rehab clinic. I really hope that whoever needs to see this video does see it, um, whether you are helping someone with GBS or you are going through GBS yourself. Feel free to follow any of my um, socials there or ask me any questions and um, next video I'll show you what I was doing at home in order to recover and get ready for the gym.